Your father passed away. Yes. Believing that he was innocent. That he was innocent. He, he sent you a letter you said just a couple days ago? Yeah. You actually have it? Yeah. What, what does he say in the letter? This is how I finally realized that he was guilty. He says, I did not kill anyone. He says, I buried Chevy and Cindy. That's all I did. And he says, I'm not proud of burying them, those two people, but it happened and I can't change that. But he told me all along, he had nothing to do with it at all, that, that he didn't know Cindy. He knew Chevy, but he said he had no involvement in that. He told me that he had no involvement in Cindy Vandenheiser, which to me, I don't believe anymore because now he's saying that he helped bury these girls. They're finding them on our parents' property. That's where they're, they've been finding the, the yes. remains? Yeah, on the ranch. Where, where you've lived? Yeah, and where I took me and my children played, took walks, rode horses. I, I can't imagine what that is like. It's heartbreaking to know that we were passing by them every day and not knowing it. You know, that's somebody else's child. You know, and I've tried to put myself in those those girls as, you know, parents' position. If it was my child, how would I feel? You know, and there's a, I love my brother, don't get me wrong. You still but, love him? Yes, but what Wesley did, no. It's unforgivable, it's wrong.